guys, James here today and welcome back to another video today. I thought we'd go across YouTube and just watch some other videos. You know, I'm always interested to see what other people are doing, to see what ideas they're coming up with. So I'm just going to jump over to YouTube and I'm going to go to the subscriptions tab because I want to see the videos that I'm actually subscribed to see, you know, not just random trending ones. Uh, let's see, uh, we've got, oh, black and white cast challenge, uh, seasons, my Sims 4 wish list. That's pretty cool. Downtown plus special events, uh, aging up our toddlers what uh what grabs my fancy solid color challenge wait hold up what's this i tried a sim supply tutorial the sims 4 i'm a better builder hold up hold up oh we gotta watch the ad first i mean well fair enough let's let's give some revenue we'll you know we'll sit through we'll sit through the the, the one minute 19 or a paper for your english class that you just have to get an a on an ad for like a spell checking grammar service? This is a really long ad for something that could be said in like maybe 20 seconds. Let me just pause the ad for a second because I just want to give feedback to all advertisers on YouTube. Not, not just these people, but if they're going to have an ad, they want it to be five seconds or, you know, you just click the skip ad button, right? If there's an ad that grabs my attention in five seconds, that's great. If it's a minute 20 and it's talking really slowly about grammar and spell checking, what the hell am I going to watch that for? Click on the button to download Grammarly now. Oh, cool. No, I won't do that but you're welcome Deli. Uh, there you go that's your ad revenue right there. Okay. Damn y'all look at them ads. Got three of them. Nice. All right let's see what this video is about. I, I, f I don't feel like a free being if I don't have one headphone off. It's a really- All right let's just like jump forward here a little bit because this is just going on for a while. Okay still go. Oh here we go. Hold up hold up. This is me. This is me. This is important. Let's go back. He's one of my really good friends so I I really like making fun of him. So during All right skip forward. Hold on a second. James got that sweet, sweet spawner right there. <laughs> yeah, I did. Tutorial. This one is a little bit of a pre Hold up, is Deli just watching my tutorial in this video? What, what is going on? All right, let's Walk skip forward. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good, she can count. That's good to know. Uh, all right, so she's just following my tutorial along and also claims that she happens to be a better builder. Again, I have your backs, you guys. You can simply use this copy tool to just copy the roof across. Whoa, hold up there, hold up, hold up. Hey, you're not being thorough. First of all, the copy tool on the roofs didn't exist when I made that tutorial. So oh, watch yourself. What are those keys called? Your full stop key and comma key. Superior and comma key on the keyboard. So I keep getting this ad for a free in-game gift from Star Stable, and it does actually look pretty sweet. So I'm gonna check that out. Oh, dude, this is actually pretty sweet. All right, let's try to choose my name. I'm gonna be my big snake. Oh, it's already taken. Well, it has to be unique. Damn it. Smooth? Hey, there we go. My smooth snake. Oh, wait. What? I have to download it? Oh, pff, okay. Well, I was going to have fun. All oh, right. Wait, what were we doing? Uh, oh, yeah. We're watching a tutorial. Right. Here's what I've done. I think it looks really mm. good. Oh, wow. I think... Um, that actually looks yeah, really cool. Holy. Okay. I think what we've learned here is that Deli is, in fact, the better builder uh, out of her and I. So I'm going to actually check out some of her tutorials and try and learn a few tips and tricks uh, from her. Right, so I found this tutorial here on The Sims 4, How to Landscape Easy. So I think someone like me should be able to understand it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what Delhi is up to here. Video tutorial on how to landscape in The Sims 4. So what I'm actually going to do is go Control shift c and turn on the Move Objects tree. All right, so the Move Objects tree, bb.moveobjects. All right, Move Objects is on. If you can spell objects correctly. I did spell it correctly in my one, so I mean, I had no issues. But first of all, there's a big space here, so I think we need a- Hold up, I've just realized that her game is different to mine. She doesn't have any plants or terrain paint, but my one does. So I'm gonna help fill in the gaps that she has left out. So if you do want to do your own landscaping in this lot, which we're trying to follow along her tutorial, you first want to get out your sledgehammer tool with K, click and drag around the plants, like so, uh, and we'll get rid of them. Just be careful of the mailbox there. Ooh, uh, just like a little largest one. Hold down control on your keyboard and then click around like that. Now, now we're actually at the start, Deli. I've helped you out there because I think a few people would be confused by that. It's a good idea to look around the environment. Mm. What? Yeah. That is a good tip, actually. See what the other houses have and the environment has so you can sort of match it. It's tempting to put it bang right in the center here. Trees probably don't grow exactly where you want them to. But this is The Sims and we can actually put trees exactly where we want to. So I'm going to get the same tree, but I am actually going to put it right in the center because I think that will look beautiful. Uh, you can use the right bracket key and the left bracket key to size bushes up. 
and down. Now that's actually a really good tip, the scaling up and down. Stop and down uh, and you do use the bracket keys to do it just next or just below the, the backspace but if it's not working which uh, for some computers you do need to hold down control and then you can use the brackets like this so again just filling in a few blanks that Delhi may have left out so it's gonna get a few little happy bushes around the tree like that isn't that that's that is actually very that is very nice and don't just line all the walls like in real life it Landscaping doesn't really work like that. Hmm. In real life, landscaping mm -hmm. doesn't really work like yep. that. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, Telly. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we want to use a similar sort of range of little shrubs and bushes that we've already used. Because if you start mixing and matching too many different styles, it will almost just look like a little overgrown jungle, which is not really the look we're going for here. We're going to also make sure, because I just want to be thorough, that uh, when you put stuff on corners and near walls that it doesn't like clip through. Because if you get, you know, if you get something like this or a tree, for example, it will, it will go through the wall. So just be aware of that and you should be fine. If you have heaps of free space, rocks are really handy just to plop in those spare spaces. So random rocks. Okay, I'm going to get some little rocks around the place. Little rocks here and there. I might even get a little smaller shrub oh, right by the rocks. Look at that. That's, that's lovely. Oh man, how long is this video? This is, oh, we're three minutes in of an 11 minute video. Let's uh, jump forward a little bit here. Let's see what we, uh, whoa, hold up. Oh, okay, let's go back. We, we clearly missed something there. So we're getting to the point where it almost looks like it's starting to get kind of over grown uh which if that's the look you're going for that's that's great once you have your clusters around the house you can grab these more wildflowers okay so we just want to add a few little more details a little bit more color with the wildflowers i guess so i'll do a little bit here and there i think i don't want to go too far over the top you know just keep it pretty simple maybe a few around the rock there that's nice i, th I think that to be honest that's all i want to do because i think we're at a nice little sort of middle ground maybe we could use something here oh that's that's beautiful and just one of these oh, but i guess we can't forget that we can scale them Stop. And we can also go down. So I can really get these like tiny little ones just like that. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? I definitely think this tutorial has helped me out uh, with landscaping for sure. We want to go with a kind of a dirt color, I suppose. Get a smaller brush and make it a bit softer because otherwise it's going to be really harsh. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all I do. Okay, so we just want to do some simple terrain painting, nothing too crazy. Just grab out a little bit of the dirt, uh, make the brush nice and soft, and then we just sort of uh, tap it around sort of where we have a little bit of growth, which typically is just, just very sort of slight amounts, especially under trees, I think, where there's a lot of shade. is That's what I like to do. And then we have some landscaping that looks really, actually quite nice. I mean, I'm going to say better than the original house, that's for sure. I wonder if there's anything else I can really share. I guess doing a desert house is slightly different. Okay, well, hey, I don't want to do another house here. Uh, I think we kind of covered all the landscaping ba Oh, hold up. The Sims 4 landscaping tutorial by Deligracy. Oh, it's Grammarly again. Fantastic. I do not want to watch this out again. So this was from 2016. This is a year newer. Oh, okay, so everything I just did is outdated and completely useless. All right, Deli. Okay, let's bulldoze that lot. Completely useless. Waste of my time. Let's see what the new tutorial has to offer. Hey, Simleys, it's Deligracy here, and I- Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. Whoa, this is just, this is just a fast, this is just a speed build video. I've been getting a lot of feedback. How am I supposed- Okay, first of all, I need that house, because I- All right, hold up, Deli. You gotta, you gotta slow down on these things. You can't just jump into a speed build. Okay, to be able to follow along with this tutorial, we're gonna need the house, which she hasn't even told us how to do. So we're gonna go to the gallery here in build mode. Lots. We're gonna make sure we filter by our current lot size. And we're going to go search by EA account ID, enter in Deligracy. And here we go, perfect family home. This looks like the one she's using. So we're going to grab this and I'm just going to put this into our game and then we can do follow along with the landscaping tutorial. Now, for some reason, Delhi did not provide a version of this house without the landscaping. So I have gone ahead and removed all of that. And if you want to try and follow along with the tutorial as well, I have uploaded it to the gallery. So you're welcome, first of all, Delhi and everybody else trying to follow this tutorial. But let's go ahead and see uh, what she suggests that we do. I've also... Um been getting several requests to do it. So hold up, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you're just talking and there's stuff happening in the background. There's trees everywhere. So I guess we put trees everywhere is what we do. Okay, so now we have a few little trees here and there, a nice variety. Uh, I think that's what we're trying to do here. This build that I did uh, yesterday, uh, I thought because it was such a lengthy build video, because I spent a lot of time of it. it okay, whoa, whoa, okay. Now she's just placing shrubs and flowers everywhere. Speaking of which, I'm scaled up and scaled down things too. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's kind of hard to follow along, but we'll, we'll do our best. So we get a few of these around the place. 
Okay, so we got some nice uh, flowers here and there, scaled up and down, as we can see that she's doing. And I thought because the landscaping was quite elaborate and there was a fair bit of it, that it would be perfect to make a separate video of. Hang on, so she's already done some terrain painting and there's some hedges or some flowers lining the front fence and there's flowers all over the ground. So let's, I just gotta catch up, it's going so quick. So let's get our little pathway in, there you go. And then she has one sort of going around the house, which is hard, really hard to keep up with. Oh, I've already put some ferns in the way, so ours is gonna be a bit different, but that's not really our fault. Sneak through there and around the back. Okay, that's all we can see at the moment. She used a bunch of these just really quickly all over the place because she sort of just covered the ground in them. Oh God, it's really hard to keep up. And these guys along the front like this. <sighs> we're looking, uh, I think we're, we're on track. We're on track. All right, let's, let's see what she's up to now. Putting an archway in here. Whoa, we'll hey, what? And then, oh whoa, hang on, hold, whoa, 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 she's got, we look away for a second and it's already like this. Okay. Oh my God, this is hard to keep up with. All right, let's see where she is now. Oh, f dog, I just missed the whole thing. All right, that was way too fast. I think what we've learned from uh, that tutorial specifically is you got to slow down. I could not keep up at all. But don't worry, guys, I'm here to help. So what we're going to do is... And then we just put the little bush just in there. And that's basically how you get around the landscaping and end up with something that looks really, really nice. So, I, I mean, I hope my little added tips here and there helped. But I think what we did learn, following along a tutorial I found is not as easy as I once thought. But I think most importantly, I really want to check out what Grammarly is because that is, that sounds really interesting. Okay, so I think, look, I'll be honest, I think Deligracy is a much better builder than me, quite clearly, as she did prove in her original video responding to my tutorial. But I think what I've proved in this video is that her tutorials are not as good as mine because she was able to follow my one and learn from it. And I just got lost halfway through and she has two tutorials about the same thing. I don't know what is going on with that. So look, learn from me, take, you know, take some inspiration from her, you'll be set. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day. Bushes up and down.